Hello and welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to talk about solving simple linear equations. Number one example is an example of where addition property of equality is being applied. That means we are going to do inverse of negative 4 and that would be adding 4 on both sides. So in doing so, this will leave us with x on the right-hand side, and on the left side, it will give us a 0. So that means 0 is equal to x, or we can flip our um, answer into x equals 0. Number 2, we are going to apply subtraction property of equality, which means we are going to subtract whatever number we need to, uh, to subtract in order to isolate x. So for number 2, um, x has a company and that is a positive 3 inverse of positive 3 is a minus 3 so we're going to do that on both sides of the equation which will leave us with x equals negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8 let us try another set of examples number 3 um, 1.3x, I do not see any addition, no subtraction, so that means multiplication is applied. So inverse of multiplication is division. So I need to divide 1.3 on the left side of the equation in order to isolate x, and I need to divide the right-hand side with 1.3 as well. So 1.3 divided by 1.3 is equal to 1. We are going to drop x. We did nothing to x. And so 5.2 divided by 1.3 is 4. So our final answer is 1x equals 4, or we can write x is equal to 4. The invisible numerical coefficient of x is 1, or, or, of, or any variable is 1. What does that mean? If I have a y, that's the same thing as 1y. If I have w, that's the same thing as 1w. If I have negative n, that's the same thing as negative 1n. So the numerical coefficient or the invisible coefficient is 1 for any variable. Let us try and work on number 4. So I see a division sign. So inverse of division is multiplication. And since the denominator of the given is 4, I need to multiply the left side with 4 and the right side with 4 as well. So in doing this, this will eliminate the 4 that I just um, multiplied and the denominator. Why? Because it's going to turn out to be 4x over 4, which will give you just x. So we are left with x on the left side. The right-hand side is 8 times um, 4, which is equal to 32. Let us try some tricky examples. Number 5, we want to get the x by itself. So we are going to divide the left-hand side of the equation by any variable and coefficient that's with the x, and that is 2 pi. And we're going to do that on the right-hand side as well. So this will eliminate the 2 and the pi, which will leave us with x on the left side. And on the right side, it will give us negative 2, negative 4 divided by 2. Um, pi is going to get canceled out. That is going to be equal to 1. So our answer is x equals negative 2. For number six, we have a fraction, and we would like to get rid of the fraction. So in order to do that, we're going to do inverse of five over uh, two over five. And inverse of two over five is five over two. That's the inverse. Why do we need to do this? Because we want to get or isolate the variable y by itself. So we're going to multiply that same exact fraction on the right-hand side as well. So um, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and which is going to leave us with a y. So on the right-hand side, we may put a 1 over um, um, 4 and multiply straight across or numerator by numerator, which will give us a 4 times 5, which is 20. 
the bottom or the denominator is 1 times 2, which is 2. Simplifying 20 divided by 2, that will give us a 10. So y is equal to 10. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find value. And if you do, please hit subscribe. And thank you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.